known for her love of Memphis and her family. This honoree is extremely dedicated to both volunteering and supporting many organizations and programs that make our community better. She is described as an advocate for literacy and the arts and her community activism has far reaching effects around the city of Memphis. Receiving the Philanthropy and Leadership Award, Honey Scheidt. She is always ahead of the curve when it comes to where the dollars are needed in our community and the timing for the right amount to give and also what to attach to those dollars uh, in the way of when you are given, this is what is expected. Some people give to religious causes, some people give to cultural causes, some people give to educational causes, some people are leadership mentors in this or that category. Honey's philanthropy knows no bounds. When budget cuts threatened the well-being of the 18 library branches in the greater Memphis area, Honey went to the mayor and city hall and served as a mediator to retain funding. Honey has an extraordinary capacity to put others' needs ahead of her own. Uh, she has an extraordinary capacity to see the needs of a community and to respond to those needs, to do it quietly, uh, to do it consistently, and to do it in a way that has remarkable impact uh, on a community. And she's done that in such a selfless way. Uh, it is truly impressive. She really goes above and beyond when there's a challenge. She meets it head on. She vol she's the first to volunteer. She's the first to contribute and she inspires everyone else to follow her lead. Honey was instrumental in bringing the Ramses the Great exhibition from Egypt first to Memphis and then throughout the United States. Because of her interest in Egyptology, she visited the head of the museum in Cairo and he told her about this exhibit of Ramses going to Montreal. And she looked at him and she said, why not to Memphis? That's how it started to bring the, uh, uh, that, that whole wonder series here. And I think that's number one in accomplishment. Honey previously served on numerous boards, some of which include the Dixon Gallery of Art, the Newcomb Art Museum and Foundation Board, Memphis in May, the Rock and Soul Museum, as well as the World Literacy Foundation. She mentors the students from the Rudy E. Scheidt School of Music and also currently serves on the board of directors at the Brooks Museum and the Germantown Performing Arts Center, among others. Honey is a founding member of the Memphis Library Foundation Board of Directors and was instrumental in raising funds to construct the Benjamin L. Hooks Central Library. Honey was one of the original board members of the Memphis Library Foundation when it was formed in 1994 to conduct a capital campaign for a new central library. She and her other fellow board members were, um, worked tirelessly to raise money and to advocate for a new central library. And we now have the Benjamin L. Hook Central Library, which is beautiful. It's filled with art and light and information. And Honey truly believes that libraries are our most democratic institution and that they can lift up all people. She received an honorary degree from the University of Memphis in 2014, the Humanitarian of the Year Award from the National Conference of Christians and Jews in 1999, and the Tennessee Governor's Art Leadership Award with her husband in 2001. Along with her husband, Honey has been a generous benefactor for the University of Memphis Rudy E. Scheidt School of Music and the Scheidt Family Center at Temple Israel. I'd like to say congratulations, Honey, uh, but more importantly than congratulations, I would like to say thank you. Thank you for making a difference in Memphis. Thank you for making a difference in the lives of many people in our community. Thank you for making us better. Honey, stay well, stay healthy, live long, keep feeding me. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Legends Award honoree, Honey Scheidt.